Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of me, Budget Gaming HD. And in today's episode, we will be reviewing this monster. Frozen Edge 360. So in today's episode, like I've mentioned, we will be reviewing this massive Frozen Edge 360 cooler for your PC. And the reason I'm reviewing it, number one, is you can get a quite good workout while you have this on your arms and pump those muscles. But number two is, of course, the most important part, it's only 48 pounds on Amazon. I mean, look at this thing. It is as big as a house. But in all seriousness, let's unbox it. Let's have some fun, play some games, and let's jump into the benchmarks. Let's unbox this Frozen H360. As you guys can see, it's very well packaged and I'm absolutely in love with the box. It looks amazing. So I probably won't throw it away. I like the black and the white look of it. According to this, it supports RGB. In the inside of the box, you'll find your cooler, nicely packaged and wrapped, as one would expect. As you can see from here, it looks absolutely fantastic. The fans look amazing and I can't stretch this enough. I'm in love with the look of this AIO. No jokes. As you can see, the cooling block is quite massive, which is always great for cooling. Inside of the aesthetics box, you'll find your thermal light thermal paste, accompanied with a four pin controller, which makes it easy to connect to one pin on your motherboard, both AMD and Intel mounting brackets, and of course, a lot of screws. As you can see from here, these fans do look brushless and they feel absolutely amazing. Now for the best part, removing the plastic off your mounting block. Let's jump into the benchmark with my test bench. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency, and they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here, and they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. Very funny. Well, what do we do? Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. V, zip and funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. Just don't go all in from the get-go. We ain't hit the target yet! Keep going! I think you've got maybe 30 seconds left. The clean is coming in! Nine? Um, eight? It's quiet out here, man. We don't... Yo, show for the last time. Move it. Man, get the fuck out of my face. Oh! You forget a thousand things every day, pal. No contact. Let's keep looking. I want this asshole found and taken down. Huh? What's that? Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really did enjoy making it for you. And if you liked it, please remember to hit my ding dong and stay up to date with my latest content. Please let me know in the comment section below what cooler suits you best. And if you would buy this cooler, consider it for yourself, of course. It's a bang of a buck deal and it gives you similar performance to coolers that are up in the 100 to 200 pound range. Of course, it doesn't beat a 60 pound Noctua air cooler, but it really gives you the bang of the buck deal and it looks the part, which I like. It looks like a real proper AIO for not a lot of money and it gets you to where you need to be. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.